Okay, where we left off, we were um, doing this bouncing ball animation, and we got about so far, and I'll just play it really quickly just to show you where we're at. And so what I'd like you to do is, is I'd like you to finish this animation. I'd like you to make the ball bounce and hit the wall and then bounce off of the wall and bounce a couple times and then roll and come to a stop. And to do that you might need to make uh, you might need to make uh, this uh, motion guide layer a little bit longer. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the motion guide layer and then I'll just take my line tool here. I'll get red as my line color, my stroke color, and I'll make a little line here and that line's too big so I'll take that and change the size to 1 okay and that's the size I needed at and what I'm gonna do is uh, curve it a little bit first and then I'll take the end point and take it down here and the other end point and move it down here And as you can see, the um, the line uh, intersected with the other line and caused a problem right there. So um, what I'll do is Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. I'll zoom in here, and what I can do is is I can uh, select this line and then group it modify group so now it won't intersect with the other line causing a problem the lines won't um, intersect and get cut off and I'll pull this down now and I can curve this over and as you can see now they're not intersecting because I grouped it and just pull this down here and adjust my bounce like so. So the ball will go up here, bounce here, bounce against the wall, bounce off, and then make a couple other little bounces and then come to a roll. I'll take that. Notice I'm working on the guide layer. Uh, not on, I'm working on the guide layer, not on the ball layer. All right, I'll curve that grab that and take this and notice it's intersecting here so I forgot to group that other line but that's good enough bounce bounce and then come to a roll so now I have my my motion guide layer set. Now I can go back and if I wanted to I can break this line. Okay. Um, okay now what I wanted to show you was how to do the same project but in a different way using motion tweens. And that's what I'll do in the next assignment.